remember when people thought Paul McCartney was dead? See, um, in those days, people were uh, quite ill about the Beatles, you know, and um, they discovered that if you played the last section of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band backwards, you can, like, distinctly hear this voice uh, reciting some obscure railway timetable or something like that. So, then the thing came to be to listen to all the Beatles records backwards, like hold their album sleeves up to mirrors, you know, try and soak out the mysterious signals that the boys had left behind, which turned out to say that Paul McCartney was dead. I mean, uh, it makes perfect psychological sense, doesn't it? I mean, I think if Mr. McCartney had been aced in some bizarre million-to-one shed-building incident, the first thing the remaining mock tops would have done is to work out a way of leaking the information in such a way that only those people who are stupid enough to listen to their records backwards could ever possibly hope to understand. I mean, I think there's a whole um, wish fulfillment thing there, you know? Like, all these people believe that, you know, since we know and love, indeed are obsessed by the Beatles so much, they must in some dim, mysterious way be aware of us and want to, like, communicate with us, you know? Well, I had a friend who took all this one step further. His name was... Um, Roger Harris, and uh, he listened to his entire record collection backwards, and uh, he became convinced that the ultimate spinach was speaking to him. But this was different, this was him personally, right? He actually came to believe that this now forgotten psychedelic group, uh, one day when they were tripping out in their home of Boston, Massachusetts, had set up this um, involuntary psychic link with him, a sort of cosmic telephone line to the extent that he believed this uh, communication was two-way, to the extent that he came to believe that he had inspired their best songs, to the degree that when their third LP came out and it was no good, he wrote them a letter apologizing. <laughs> he said, uh, I'm sorry, but I had exams at the time. Yeah.